Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey. It's the same day that I just got this camera, but it's a completely different story now. It, oof, and I'm gonna take you out here and show you. Oh, I'm getting pelted. The second snowstorm is here, and this time it's a little bit more snow. So as you can see, everything is covered. It's coming down pretty hard. We'll get out here by some light so you can see. And this is a good test for the camera. It's quarter to nine. And you can see how this A7 IV with the 20 millimeter 1.8 handles nighttime in the snow. So I think you can see how much it's snowing. And you can really see it over there because that's an open field. Now you can really see it, how hard it's snowing. We did get an actual winter storm. Last year, we didn't get a, like, a, a, not even a fleck of snow. So this sucks. My wife looked at me and she's like, are you out of your mind going outside? I'm like, well, you know, it's snowing. But I thought that I would at least show you this. Plus, this is freaking awesome. It's like I'm walking around in the daytime. Now I'm gonna go back inside and see if I can see. See you in the morning. people have heart attacks. This stuff, it's like trying to move wet cement. It is so freaking heavy. And right now it's melting, but tonight this is gonna turn into an ice tomb, which is gonna suck. So I'm glad that I at least came out here pre-heart attack and got the cars cleaned off and, and enough of the driveway that hopefully if they do actually send somebody to come plow, it'll get rid of most of it. But, whew, man, I need to sit down. Back to this camera. All right, I freaking love this thing. I looked through all the footage and, and even Yankee Cowboy was like, dude, the difference between the first half of your video last night in the 8-bit on the A7C to the 10-bit on the A7 IV, night and day. Like a massive, noticeable difference. I even saw that. And, and I'm not much of a pixel peeper. It looked great. It looked fantastic. I totally dig it. Couple of things. Number one, putting this into 4K, 10-bit 422 with all the shit that I've got turned on, active stabilization, focus breathing compensation and everything, I definitely notice that the battery is getting eaten up a lot faster. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and perhaps carry a spare battery with me or I'm gonna have to put this thing on that grip so that I can constantly have it plugged in. Not the ideal situation because I actually, you know, I got it back here on the, on the Mantis pod and I really like it, but we'll see. I cannot say enough how happy I am that I got this camera and I'm glad that I jumped at it as soon as it was available and I was able to get it in a day because it's gonna be a big change for me. I hate to say game changer. It's a game changer though, because it all looks fantastic. And it's, and it's motivating me to do more with my filming and, and more stuff with my channel other than just me, you know, bitching and complaining about stuff. <laughs> uh, and, all right, so that being said, I decided that I'm gonna try something else a little bit different. And instead of the small rig cage that I ordered that might be here in two months, I actually went online, I looked around and decided to give Tilta a try. So I got a Tilta kit that has the cage, a handle, a top handle, and an HDMI clamp for if I ever put an external monitor on this. 
like if I do it in the in the in the studio, and uh, totally stoked about having full size HDMI. I know I mentioned that, I'm saying it again. Those little micro HDMIs, ugh, man, I hope Sony doesn't use those anymore because those things suck. As far as the editing goes, I wouldn't even notice the difference with the 8-bit and the 10-bit on that MacBook Air M1. It worked flawlessly. I had no hiccups, no dropped frames. Everything was as smooth as it was before. The other thing that I want to mention is those ProGrade V90 cards. Holy crap. Like, I definitely noticed the difference on how fast the footage transferred from the card to my computer. Like, holy shit fast. And that's using the Apple SD card reader. And I was gonna spend a hundred something dollars on another reader, and I'm glad that I didn't because it would have been a complete waste of money. Hi, thanks for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Why, I would love a grande wet cappuccino. A grande wet cappuccino. What else can I do for you? A grande two pump vanilla breve latte. And then a grande two pump vanilla breve latte. Anything else for you? That's gonna be it. Apparently, my mannequin's wig, the redhead, they attempted delivery today, even though that wasn't supposed to be here until next week. And I got a notification saying they attempted delivery and it didn't, they couldn't do it, which means that the UPS store is closed today. So that means I'm not getting my gummies, my CBD gummies, or apparently that wig. And also means that on Monday, I should probably get a lot of stuff. I thought the mannequin was coming on Monday, but apparently the mannequin's not coming till the end of the month. So that's kind of a bummer because I was expecting to get her on Monday in addition to the wigs and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and I thought that I would be able to start shooting, uh, you know, practicing and everything, but I can't. So gotta wait. All right, kids, it's been a long, tiring day. Long and tiring, simply because of the fact I'm so out of condition that shoveling all that wet cement ass snow plum tuckered me out. I thought I'd do something different and I would end the video today in the library just so that I had a different background and I can see how this lovely new camera handles all that and how it looks. I I'm not gonna belabor the point. I love this thing. This camera, the Sony a7 IV, coupled with the Sony 20 millimeter f1.8 with active stabilization, focus breathing on, shooting in 422 10-bit, 4K 24 frames per second is just, it's just wonderful. And I'll stop saying that because I'm sure you're getting sick of hearing me saying how much I love it, but I do. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.